This is Jovino Santos Neto for Piano Groove, and I'm, on this lesson we're going to show how to create a very simple bossa nova samba groove, talking about two five ones. So I'm going to use very simple chords to let you understand how that feels. So for instance, let's uh, pick a key of uh, G major, okay? And I'm going to do uh, two five one would be an A minor, and then a D seven, and then the major. So I'm just doing thirds and sevenths, okay? And with these three notes, I can set up a groove, as in. simple pattern you see how I'm accenting my left hand slightly every second beat as in here here back to the simple groove sometimes it can be a flip some more notes to those chords. Now I'm going to play a little bit to the five chord. a flat nine so instead of playing this chord I'm playing another thing I could do with the five chord is to to flatten the six so they have so now I'm playing the one chord as what we know as a five as a six nine chord it doesn't have a third it doesn't have a seventh but this is a chord that you find in a lot of guitar accompaniments of bossa nova, you have this. That adds a lot to what's known as a Brazilian sound to that, the 6-9 chord. Can also be inverted as in... So... But this quarto representation of it in any key it sounds really good so it can go it's a very good chord to have because it's one of the chords that's used a lot in popular music it does not commit to a third and to a seventh but it does indicate a major chord it's a it's actually not correctly called 6-9, because to have a 9, you would have to have a 7th. But in this case, it could be actually more a 2-6 chord. And uh, now if we add a, a 6 chord to create a 2-5-1-6 progression, there would be a, like... to a 7th. In this case, I'm using a flat 9, but it could also use a 13, or, 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 or even, so how many variations are that 7th, uh, that dominant 7, 6 chord we could have in the key of G major? I'll play this again for you, 
changing the inversion so you can see how that sounds different in different regions of the instrument. Thank you so much.